Matt, thanks a lot for joining me. Um, first of all, can you tell me why you're here at Winchester today and um, what, what does this mean to the club? Um, well, we're here to obviously try and raise some, some money for, for Winchester. Paul McCarthy, I've known for quite a few years now, asked me to, to come up and see if I could help out a bit and uh, uh, hopefully just try and give him a bit of a helping hand. I remember what it was like playing in the, in the Wessex League myself a few years ago. So, uh, you know, clubs need all the funds they can uh, they can get their hands on to try and keep the, the place afloat. Paul's done a, a cracking job here, so just up and giving him a hand, really. Um, you spent your whole career at Southampton, a, a wonderful achievement really, um, playing over 400 league games. Um, first Premier League midfielder to reach the 100 goal mark, how did that feel for you? Um, yeah, that was a, a pretty special moment. Uh, to be honest, it was, um, I think the time that I did it, there was probably only about nine, uh, eight or nine players that had got to 100 goals uh, and they were all, all centre forwards of, uh, of some uh, considerable um, names and, and records down the year. So it was lovely to be able to join that that little elite club, really. Um, disappointing defeat last night away to Cardiff. Um, what do you think uh, Nigel Atkins and the players and the fans will think about last night's result? Uh, it, it was always going to be a tough place to go. Um, you know, we've not got a great record there down the years. Um, and so it, it was nice, actually, that we could afford to lose a game and still stay top of the league. You know, that's, uh, I think that was quite important for the players' confidence uh, going into the home game at the weekend. So uh, hopefully we can pick up three points there and kick on again. Yeah, you, uh, you mentioned the home game against Watford. Um, what will the fans expect? More, more importantly, what would they want from that game? Uh, at, at the moment, they'd expect three points every time we play at home. Uh, the, the run that we're on is incredible. Um, and there's no reason why the players shouldn't turn up at St Mary's every week expecting to take three points. You know, Watford haven't had the greatest starts of the season. Um, and, and I'm sure the players and, and Nigel Atkins will be uh, satisfied with no less than the full three points. How, uh, how important are the likes of Adam Lallana and Ricky Lambert going to be for the rest of this season? Oh, they're the guys that you kind of rely on really to, to make things happen. Um, two top scorers. Uh, if, if any one of them were kind of out for any period of time, um, you'd probably wonder, you know, how we'd cope with that. One, to be honest with you, um, but you know, we have got other decent players that have uh, contributed in the, the goal scoring and the goal creating chart. So uh, hopefully they stay fit. Um, but if they, if it does mean we we miss them for a few games, and hopefully we got players that come in and cover. And uh, quickly, just finally, there's uh, sort of been a war of words between you and the Southampton chairman recently. Uh, uh, what do you have to say about this? <laughs> uh, I, I've never asked for a free ticket um, from Nicola, uh, and I never will ask for a free ticket from Nicola. Uh, if he wants to intimate that uh, that I was, then um, like, you know, let him come out and say it, uh, and, and we'll take it from there. Um, if he, uh, if he wants to, to go on on those. It's nice that he chose the fact that we were top of the league to come out and criticise me and Laurie. Um, it's always good to criticise from a position of strength. Um, but, uh, listen, I don't want anything to detract from the fact that the team are doing so well and the top of the championship. Um, and so uh, hopefully the boys can just concentrate on their jobs and, uh, and not get way laid by any uh, little squabbles that happen off the pitch. Matt, thanks all for joining me. Thank you.